key green and change let me show you guys how you can uh use a chroma key effect or green screen any video of yours so first you want to go and quickly input your uh finds so my finds right now are in my uh drive so i'm just gonna get that out real quick and see i've put my clip over here then you're supposed to add the clip that you're going to green screen uh, i mean like the clip that you don't want its background to come but just come on your video so first you want to go and let me just find that clip really fast oh it's working on it come on faster faster and uh, right over there sorry let me just put it there there we go we've got both the clips in place now what you want to do is put one clip under the other clip so you can see it's right and then let's just play and see So you can see it's a clip uh, about me talking about plants, but what we care about is this intro right over here. It's, it actually plays something like this. You can see that that's the intro with the green screen on it. But what you want to do is for zoom a bit so that you can have that visible. And then you want to go to effects. As soon as you can effects, you can see this chroma key green screen, and then you want to just drag onto it. No guess, it doesn't work like that. It's not just dragging, you have to drag. Then you can see that uh, not much change has happened. Then you want to position your cursor right to the first frame. So let's... Yep, right now it's in the first frame. Let me just zoom a bit so that I can see it. Yeah, I'm going to do it from here actually. I'm going to do it from here. And then you want to connect this little green over here. As you can see over here, your fuzz and your key color. Now, this is where you have to go to the part where the green is actually visible. You can see there it is. It's actually visible. Then you want to click key color, like double click on it and get pick screen color. From this, you can pick whichever color on your screen. I reckon picking up the exact green from here rather than putting manually your green from there. Just go over here, pick the green, hit OK. Bam, you can see things are happening. Then, what you want to play around is with its fuzz value. The fuzz value actually determines how much of the green is going to be removed. So, because I think 100 would be fine, let me just put 100 and we just see how everything goes. You can see that uh, it is not perfect it can obviously things can be done better so i'm going to mess around with this value a bit and let's take it to 200 this time let's see how it goes a bit more improvement can happen so let's make it uh 250 this time let's see how it goes 250 like that and now it's going to be perfect as you guys can see, it is absolutely perfect, but a bit of touch would do, so a 300 would be the best. Now, but again, you guys, you're supposed to uh, mess around with the settings. Again, if you if you go too high, make sure to bring it back down. You can see it's absolutely perfect, and that's how it's supposed to look. So, uh, with this, uh, that's about it for the video. If nothing really you like, subscribe for more content, because I keep uploading videos about OpenShot and various other technology-related stuff. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye.